Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and uh, welcome to a new tutorial, and today we're going to be looking into fractals, and uh, we're going to make some effects, some light effects that we're going to use then, uh, for example, in forum signatures, or uh, in, uh, I don't know, large pieces of art, uh, just basically anything that needs some good light effects, and we're going to be looking into Chaotica, which is a fantastic fractal art uh, software. We're not going to make super complicated things, we're just going to make some light effects uh, that uh, you guys can use in whatever you want. This is a site, it's chaoticafractals.com. You just go and download the software, and uh, you, there's for Mac, for Linux, for Windows, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, now, the free version only allows you um, up to 1.2 megapixels uh, in image size and that's like 1300 and something times 980 or something pixels which is not bad trust me uh, you can also buy the uh, full version which is uh, I don't know uh, $50 I don't know there, there's also a, a, a $20 version or something uh, we're not gonna do that we are cheap and we're gonna use the free software <laughs> um, so you download a Chaotica for example uh, and you're gonna want to make stuff like uh, let me just delete these test images and you're gonna be making stuff like these you're gonna be making fractals uh, some nice light effects that you can use in your art and as you can see they are pretty pretty freaking awesome and I like them uh, and yeah this 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 looks fantastic I can use this in a lot of things I can use this for example in some really dope forum signatures for lighting and stuff or I can uh, use them in photo manipulations for very thing various things um, and I'm gonna just jump into chaotic right now uh, I'm not gonna take much much of your time so I clicked here on the on the starting tab thing and uh, you're basically gonna get this window here once you start Chaotica. It may be smaller like this, so just make it big, full screen. And uh, you're gonna get this parameter browser here. And the parameter browser basically gives you uh, variations of fractals that you can choose from. Uh, you can generate new random or, uh, new random parameters by clicking here on new random worlds so it's not that difficult it's actually really easy and uh, you just uh, pick one you just pick whatever you want you can also choose a number that you want it to generate they may, let's make it 16 or something and it's gonna make 16 worlds for you to choose from and uh, you're just gonna have to look at it from a graphic designer perspective like, like what will I use what will I definitely use? Uh, I'm looking at this one here, at the, the third one here, and I'm just going to click it. And once you click it, it's going to pop up in the background uh, as an image. I'm going to close this right now since I don't need it anymore. And this looks really dope. I can definitely use this for a uh, forum signature or a manipulation. And look here at the bottom where it says rendering. It's actually, it's actually rendering in the background which is fantastic uh, and if you see noise or something along the, the along the picture that is because it is still rendering and it's gonna go and it's gonna look all smooth and stuff uh, right away uh, you have the anti-aliasing mode here you can choose strong that's by default you can choose fine which is give it a, a bit more crispier look and stuff a bit noisier you can choose smooth it makes it so like dreamy and stuff or you can choose Mitchell Natural Valley and uh, I always go for almost always I go for Mitch, uh, Mitchell Netravalli and uh, I usually pump the blur up to 23 or something like that uh, and uh, that's about it uh, then I go to palette here you can have you have here a random world generator and um, in here you can uh, generate the color palette you can change the color nodes and uh, if you have more color nodes then you're gonna have more color variations I choose to go always with uh, six or four because I don't want too many colors I actually like these colors here but if I click it just as an example you're gonna see uh, variations here like this red and blue one this is fantastic orange sorry and uh, this looks great I like this but uh, I'm gonna go back with control and Z or undo and uh, I'm gonna keep this one um, you have also have shaders here and it's gonna change the shaders of the image it's gonna it's gonna basically make it look different like if I click it right now here as you can see the colors switch around and the shading and stuff uh, and I like this one this, this one looks dope uh, and selectors is also gonna change the image a bit um, and 
um, I don't really need that. Now, if you hold Alt on the keyboard and then right click and drag down, which are, uh, yeah, right click and drag down, it's gonna zoom out of the image. And uh, let me just drag up a bit. Notice my mouse movements. And if you hold Alt and left click it and drag it, like in to the left or the right, you can actually move the thing around. You can uh, zoom out and zoom in as you wish. I like to have some small effects in the middle, like as you see with my other fractals. And I like this because I have black edges that therefore I won't see any uh, rough edges when I apply it to a photo manipulation. Um, and now it's rendering in the background and this is a really, really great effect. I, I can definitely use this for a lot of things. Uh, I can, uh, for example, if I want variations of this, I can just click on transforms and it's going to give me variations of the thing that's here. Uh, and look at this. Look how many possibilities you have with Chaotica uh, to make effects and stuff. This is fantastic. Look at this. Let me just click, for example, on this one here. Look at this. This is this is really, really cool. Uh, I'm a bit excited, you know. Um, I'm just going to undo that because I really like this effect more. Um, and you can also play here with the gamma threshold and uh, basically it's going to remove the stuff on the sides. Uh, I'm just going to put it point f um, 0 0.5 and as you can see a lot of uh, noise disappeared. Uh, you can make a back a, the background black or whatever you want. I'm just going to put these all to 0 because I really like a pitch black background. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to put the gamma back up to what was it again Not one yeah uh, and you can also change the brightness you can add more in the picture if you pump up the brightness as you can see uh, but I always leave to I, I like to leave the brightness to about uh, two three four uh, the gamma you can pop up where you want the uh, brightness to be if you want it to be focused in the center then you lower it and as you can see, focus us in the center. Or if you want it to spread out to diffuse around the uh, fractal, you just uh, pump it up. Uh, I like, I really like to leave it to about three, four. I uh, don't really change it. The highlight power, don't touch that. You don't really need that. Trust me, it's poop. <laughs> yeah, for what, uh, for what we're doing here, you can also change the curves. You know, uh, have some variations and stuff. Uh, colors you know saturation or whatever I'm just gonna reset that uh, you can just play around um, and yeah that's about it uh, if you want in Chaotica you can actually save it with the alpha that means without a background let me just do a test uh, I'm gonna save this save the image uh, random params too yeah whatever and as you can see, if I go back here and check the image, it's here. It's rendered. It's uh, with a black background. If you want to remove the back, um, the black background, sorry, um, you're gonna have to click here on Save Alpha, and this is gonna remove the background. And if I save it now, save image, it's gonna automatically save it as a PNG uh, with a transparent background. So I'm gonna save it right now. I'm gonna overwrite it and check that out. You have it as uh, just a fractal. A transparent background that is fantastic um, and it is just great man and if you want to hop in really quick uh, I have these 10 bases for you so uh, you can just uh, make your own fractals like I showed you from scratch or I have 10 here already prepared and you just have to click on the effect and it's gonna pop up in Chaotica and this is the effect it looks great I mean it's perfect for me and if you want to make new things from this one just click on transforms that's it just click on transforms and you're gonna get a lot of variations uh, just like you need it for example let me click this one look at this that just pop out that is fantastic I, I love chaotic it's just fantastic I'm so happy I just found it uh, I mean I, that I found it <laughs> um, and yeah there's a lot of variations here some nice colors look at this this is such a fantastic effect I'm actually gonna save this uh, on my computer I'm just gonna let it render in the background um, and yeah it's it's just amazing and you have more variations here you can just uh, double click it if you don't have the file associated with Chaotica just right click and properties and it just uh, change here how it opens and choose Chaotica from wherever you installed it and and then you just have to double click it instead of going to file and then open world 
uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, now you can go make your fractal packs, your effect packs and stuff, and uh, just dis distribute them, I suppose, on the internet. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure to join OneCanvas.net. Uh, it's my personal graphic community that I created for you guys. And... Um, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, there's a lot of active people there. Uh, we have competitions. We have a <clears throat> photograph, uh, photo of the, of the Fortnite, and uh, we have signature of the week. If you guys are into those, uh, and uh, yeah, come by, introduce yourself, show us your art.